Previously on 100 Days, I made some basic supplies, get stone, almost died, made a farm, made it better, found a villager fort, stole it as my own, made a zombie killing machine that works really well, caused it to rain zombie parts, more zombie killing machine, constructed a brand new base, added a ton of traps, this one looks pretty cool. Also, I did this on day 100, but just wait till day 200. Wait, what? Dude, you're supposed to be standing over there. Did you even read the script? <coughs> <clears throat> Have you defeated the demon lord? What the heck is a demon lord? Did you crush the ice golem? What about ascending to doom tower? Crush it with what? And what is an ice golem? Oh, and did I mention there are over 500 champions? No, but honestly, that sounds kind of awesome. What is this? You can do all these things and crazy amount more if you download great shadow legends on your phone or computer. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Oh yeah, did I mention there are over 500 champions? Oh, and did I mention there are over 500 champions? Yeah, I literally just read that in the book. But I bet you didn't know about Fyro the Infamous. What the heck is a Fire Infamous? Fyro is one of the most challenging dungeon bosses. Fyro used to be a knight of Volcar, but he committed regicide. What is regicide? Try to defeat the Fire Knight to collect the treasure. A great way to get the best weekly rewards is to join a clan and fight the clan boss. Also, pro tip, the fastest way to level up your champions is by farming the campaign. Raid is adding a new rotation of the Doom Tower, which I definitely want to finish this month. If you want a massive head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description. New players will get an epic hero, Chinoru, who is especially good for Doom Tower. 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon epic champions as soon as you get in the game. Also, huge shout out to Forge Labs for inspiring this series. If somehow you don't know who that is, he's a YouTuber that makes videos much higher quality than my own, so if you like mine, you'll love his. Anyway, check out his channel after watching this video. Alright, here we go. And what on earth is that noise? Right off the bat, I just hear zombies groaning outside my base. What is this? Straight off the bat on day 101, I noticed that my castle had a growth. I have no idea what the heck this thing is. After some quick investigation, I realized this was a room identical to the room I had originally spawned in when generating this world. There must have been a glitch where it spawned in again because I don't know. Anyway, I mined it out and gathered all its blocks. I don't know if you guys remember, but at the end of day 100, I exploded a boatload of zombies using my good friend TNT. It created a massive crater in the ground, and I can't say I love the design, so I had to do what I I always do when I have a problem. Cover it up and pretend like it never happened. For basically the entirety of day 101, I just spent fixing up odds and ends, you know, tidying up things and whatnot. Since my wool armor was pretty close to breaking and it was causing me to freeze, I was in desperate need of some new clothes. I ransacked all the chests in my castle, but I couldn't find any wool. So I hiked back to my old base to savage through the chest. Savage through the chests? That's not even a word. There wasn't any wool there either, so after a little exploring, I found an old moldy tent and tore it down. I didn't have much lumber, so I spent the rest of day 102 chopping down oak trees. I left my zombie shredder a little messy, so I decided to tidy it up a bit. I don't really have a good storage system in my base, and by not having a good storage system, I mean I don't have any chests whatsoever. So I converted all the logs I had gotten from day 101 to chests. After trying out a few different locations, I realized that my loot was the most valuable of my possessions because loot is literally my possessions. That's like what it is. So I should probably keep it safe. And what spot is safer than underground? However, there wasn't any great spot for an underground storage system in my base unless I got rid of that portal. So I got rid of that portal. Then I started construction on my brand new chest room. After working all day, I was about halfway done, but the moon had risen and I had zombies on my mind. I ran out to my zombie annihilator and pulled an all-nighter slashing zombie flesh. Oh no, are they breaking the door up there? No, I don't think they can break the doors, right? I <gasps> no! Oh man, that is sketch. He's just right there. There's two of them. Oh, and they're breaking this door? Uh, let's just make sure it's secure. <laughs> um, this is not good. They can just get in. All right, iron door, and there we go. Now I'm safe. Oh man, there are a ton up there. Dude, look at that. It's just filled with them. <laughs> How many is that? It sounds like a ton though. Oh man. I had to figure out a way to slay all the idiots stuck at the top of my watchtower. So I ran to my old base and looted the chests looking for anything that could help me. 
I found nothing. Now that I knew these zombies could break wooden doors, I replaced all my wooden doors with iron doors. There's no way those nerds are getting me now. You guys remember the cows I got from that old abandoned fort from the last video, and everyone thought that the spawners were cow spawners? Well, you'll be happy to hear that I've put them in a cage where they'll never roam free again- I mean, they have a nice home. Now that there was sufficient daylight to work in, I decided it's probably the best time to finish my underground storage system. Waking up on day 105, I came to the realization that even though I technically finished my storage room, I never put any items in the chests. So I spent the better part of the day relocating items from my chests over. I never realized how many zombies I've really killed until I started moving the rotten flesh from my zombie farm to my storage room. I filled up an entire double chest with this stuff and still had loads more. I spent literally all of day 106 and even some of day 107 filling up my storage room. I have a lot of items. Hunger was an issue, so I started a small farm around my storage area. You guys remember at the starting of this video just eight days ago when I said I covered up that hole with the TNT? Apparently I never finished covering it up, so that's what I did on day 108. I got a lot of comments saying that these heating coils don't work when there isn't a ceiling, so I removed them from my base because there's no point. The cows were repopulating faster than my farm was producing wheat, so it became apparent that I was in desperate need of some more wheat. I crafted up a few hoes, got my water buckets and seeds, and channeled my inner farmer. You know, they do call me Farmer Joe for a reason. Mid farming montage, I started freezing to death and I realized that one of my armor pieces had broken. So I traveled to the nearest tent, tore it down and recrafted some new wool armor. Okay, back to farming. Yo, look at that! It's a stupid farmer coming over to the farm! Finally, by day 111, I had finished my massive farm. I love it. I really wanted better armor, so I went out exploring to try to find either some sort of armor loot in a chest or paper that I could use to make bookshelves for my enchantment table. I ended up going to this dungeon that's pretty similar to the dungeon that I almost died in on day, what was it, like two or three? All right, let's see what's down here. Um, oh, there's grass in here. That's interesting. Oh, what? It's like a jungle tree. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so many cave spiders. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, I'm at half a heart. Wow. Um, maybe I shouldn't go down these. Maybe, maybe that's just a sign that I should never go down one of these ever again. All right, I'm going back down. I think I might be able to survive. I'm just going to go the other way this time. Oh, yes, chests. All right, let's be, we got some, oh, another book and some gold. Oh, 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 dude, that spider gave me a heart attack. All right, it's not attacking me, it's fine. The problem here is all the spiders are cave spiders, so they give me poison. And the poison is just the worst, brings me to half a heart. All right, ooh, another spider spawner. All right, not bad, not bad, free XP, might as well take it. And I think it's lagging. Got him once, and, oh man, oh no, oh no, he got me. Oh no, 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 he got me, he got me. All right, get this guy. Okay, block it off. Whew. I want to kill that last spider in there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, he's going to get me. Oh, man, I'm so low. I'm so low. I got to kill him. Whew. 
That was way too close. Stuck at half a heart, scared to death, spiders and zombies surround my little room. I waited out the night, and once it was day, I carefully dug my way out. Well, it was day 112, and I had just barely escaped from my doom. Adventure is much more dangerous than I thought. But I didn't care. I kept exploring anyway. Ha! Another one of those dungeons. Never going down there again. Day 113, I went down another one of those dungeons. This might be a really dumb idea. Um, actually, it's definitely a really dumb idea, but I really want to find some treasures. Oh! First off, already got a chest. Enchanted golden apple. All right, let's go. What is this room? What the heck? Oh no, it's night. That's not good, I need to sleep. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I killed him. I was in the goblin stuck with the zombie. That was way too close. That is quite a few zombies, yep. That's, that's a lot. Um, oh, and they're entity cramming. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> the body parts are just flying through. All right, well, time to die. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Gotta eat my golden apple. Where did they come from? Oh. No, they keep coming. They keep coming. They keep coming. No. Oh. That was way too close. <laughs> I'm so glad I had that notch apple on me. After another close shave, I decided I should probably get out of there quick. So, like any good mole rat, I dug myself out. Dude, those guys are loud up there. Oh man, no, no. Oh, I gotta eat another golden apple. Okay, let me out, let me out, let me out. No. Zombies, get out of my way. How come I can't get out? I'm gonna kill them. No, no, I'm gonna die. I have to eat another golden apple. Die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it turned to ice. Nope. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. Day 114, I made an incredible discovery. What is that? Yo. It's a zombie horse. What? <gasps> oh, it is so fast. At first, I was just amazed by this giant fossil that I found, but check out this zombie horse. This thing's insane. It goes so fast. That's like three times faster than a normal horse. All right, what's this fossil thing all about? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside. Oh, and just stone. Okay, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but this horse is incredible. <laughs> this thing's insane. Like, hey zombies. Oh, you're trying to get me? Oh, too bad. I'm way too fast. <laughs> Day 115, I mostly spent riding my trusty steed looking for anything unusual. Anyway, I was a little tired of exploring, so I started to migrate back home. By the next day, I had finally made it back to my base, and the first thing I wanted to do was name my zombie horse. Ooh, I know. Instead of zombie horse, it'll be zombie Porsche. Genius. Da 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 da, and you're dead. What the heck, he's just in a line. Look at that. He's like, <laughs> I made a little cage for this nerd, that way he couldn't run away. Then, I kept multiplying my burger supply. I also realized that the farm was looking a tad unfinished, so I started fixing it up a bit. After making it look all nice and epic, I remembered that it's actually possible to craft a grappling hook. Yeah, a grappling hook. This is so cool. How the heck did I forget about this? All right, let's test out the grappling hook. Do it there. Um, okay, and hold down shift and I jump. Okay, that's how I swing. Gotta figure out all the controls. Zombies trying to get to me? Nope. Ha, I can just jump over the wall. How do you like that, nerd? Oh, I'm gonna scale this tree. Oh man, this is great. I wonder if I can pull Nitwit with this. Let's try it out. Oh, <laughs> yep, definitely can. <laughs> As you guys know, the reason I have to wear the wool armor is to keep me from freezing to death. But what if I told you there's actually a way to wear better gear that still keeps me warm? I discovered that one of the mods I had installed actually does that. It allows me to make underwear and apply it to my armor so I can stay warm. To craft it, you need a ton of string, slime balls, and magma blocks. All things I can get pretty easily. And oh yeah, leggings warm liner. And I can just combine these with my normal armor. 
I already have quite a few magma blocks and slime balls, so now all I needed was string. I went out adventuring looking for dungeons because most of them are covered in cobwebs, which I can break for free string. The next day, I realized I didn't have any torches to light up the dungeons, so I hopped back on my zombie porch and rode home to grab some coal and sticks. Walking around the structure, I broke every cobweb in sight. Eventually, I had broken them all, and I was going to go down into the dungeon. But then I got scared, and also realized I might have enough string as it is, so I'm, I don't even need to go down there. Using the string I had gotten, I was able to craft some warm boots liner, so I applied it to my iron boots. I then searched through every chest I had looking for any string that I had previously left behind. I found a little bit, but it wasn't enough to craft another piece of liner, and I knew that when the moon rose, spiders would start spawning, so I spent that night in the zombie shredder. Eventually, I got enough string to craft liner for my iron leggings and chest plate. However, I was going to need even more liner than that to keep me from freezing, at least in the night. Daytime was just barely warm enough so I wouldn't freeze. Now, you might be wondering, Joe, why do you care if you freeze during the night? Just sleep through all the nights, and you won't have to go through all the trouble of getting warmer armor. Well, my fellow idiot, very simple. I have big plans. Very big plan. I'm going to sweep the nation with my brand new revolutionized zombie killing method. But in order to kill thousands of zombies at once, I need to be awake at night. So just be patient and you will see. The morning of the 120th, I noticed that there were a ton of zombie forces around. Wow, there are a bunch of these weirdos. What? I guess what happened is the zombies spawn riding on one of these guys, and then in the morning the zombies despawn and the zombie horses stay there. So that's what happened. I rode around until I found another dungeon and collected all the cobwebs until I had enough to craft a helmet liner. Now I had liner on every piece of armor. However, for some reason that still wasn't enough to last me the frigid nights. Oh yeah, I also slaughtered a bunch of cows. On day 121, I went out exploring for reasons that no one can be sure of. Oh, but look at that. I found another one of those dungeons. Okay, let's go in, I guess. Oh wait, the game crashed. Now I have to load up a backup. Oh man, no! Now it's day 119 because my most recent backup was from two days ago! Whatever, let's just pretend that never happened and call it day 122. Okay, I think it's okay because technically I still survived that time, so... Anyway, I wanted to start a brand new trap, but first I had to take down the rapid fire arrow and fireball dispensing system because it doesn't look that good having a literal wall of dispensers on the side of my castle. This new system would still use the leftover fireballs, but in a slightly different way. You guys will see right after this building montage. Oh no, I'm out of redstone. Flame on. Oh yeah. I started off day 126 by brutally murdering 90% of the cow population in this entire world. I decided after having so much fun, I should probably balance it out with a little bit of fear, so I went and found another dungeon. This time, I entered the dungeon and, well, just watch. Alright, now that I have iron armor, maybe I'll be a little safer, um, cause like, wool armor barely protects you, it's not even armor basically, it's just like, clothes. Sweet. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh man, that scared me, he was hiding up on the ceiling like a ninja. And this guy's trying to kill me, but he doesn't realize that I have iron armor now. I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh man, how many are there? Okay, and there's another spawner in there. Come on, let me fast. Let me in. I gotta break the spawners fast. Alright, we're good. Ooh, two books that have been written in. Alright, let's read that book that I got. Nope, let's... I'm done reading this. Oh man. Ooh, this is getting really close. I think I barely survived that. Oh man, this is, even with full iron armor, I almost died. After almost dying multiple times while down there, I decided I should skedaddle, so I dug myself out. Now what in the heck is all that no Oh, yep, that's what the noise is, it's, it's zombies. Okay, um, all right, that was only two. Oh, there's a bunch of zombie horses up there. Mm, goodbye, mm, goodbye, oh, goodbye. What the heck are you doing? You're just like dancing up there. And goodbye. Now you're all dead. Perfect. I basically just rode around for the rest of the day looking for anything cool I could find. Here's a quick snapshot slideshow. Day 128, I found yet another dungeon. Guys, I really needed string to keep me warm, okay? Anyway, here are the exciting parts. Oh, I can see one already. Time to die, idiot. And there's another guy. Okay, he's dead. This guy's dead. It's fine. And what? That guy just jumped through the cobwebs at 100 miles per hour. 
Oh man, so many spiders. Oh, I can't, I'm actually really low on health. Okay, he's dead. No, what? How, no, 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 no. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. Why can I not hit the spider? I can only shoot him. What? Why can I not hit him? Okay, that was way too close. I'm so lucky I had the notch apple. Since I almost died in there, I decided to navigate my way out. Oh man. There's so many zombies here. Actually. <laughs> Dude, that is a ton of zombies. Holy cow. Okay, uh. Oh, yes, I do have TNT. Let's go. Okay. Oh man, I'm starting to freeze to death, but this is worth it. I'm gonna blow up all those zombies. Okay, I gotta sleep. Oh man, the limbs are flying everywhere. This is epic. The next day I went back down there because there was still a part I hadn't explored. Man, I'm so glad I did too. What I found shocked me. I had no idea I was going to be able to get this. No way. That's insane. I can't believe there are bookshelves here. Just a random room full of bookshelves, which are the exact thing I need for enchanting. No way, this is so epic. I had no idea this was even in the game. Oh man, this is actually so perfect. I finally made it back to my castle on day 130 and immediately wanted to enchant. I had been getting mad amounts of XP levels from killing all these idiots, so I knew I could get some pretty fancy armor. I used all the books that I had gotten the previous day to make bookshelves and put them around the table. But first, I used all the stacks of string I had gotten from all those dungeons to craft up as much liner as possible. Then I applied it to some brand new diamond armor, and now it was ready to be enchanted. After enchanting my brand new armor, I still had quite a few levels, so I grabbed all my extra books and started enchanting those as well. I used up all my level enchanting, so I spent another night down in the zombie shredder. I gained almost 60 levels of experience from that one night down there. 60 levels. This thing's insane. I spent most of day 131 enchanting the rest of my armor. I wanted full diamond armor, so I decided to go mining until I found diamonds. Once uncovering those shiny blue rocks, I headed back to finish off my armor set. I spent that night in the zombie annihilator grinding those shiny XP orbs. Ha <laughs> die, idiots. The next morning, I used all my XP to enchant the remaining pieces of my armor and a whole bunch of books. There's no chance of me dying now, right? I noticed the wheat was looking nice and fresh, so I ran over to the farm and harvested it. Dude, that is so much wheat. Oh man, I got a ton. I got back to my castle just in time to cook up a few hundred zombies. I love this game. And <laughs> man, I love burning zombies. This game is just so much fun. <laughs> I woke up to the horrifying sound of zombies moaning and groaning outside my castle. I investigated and there were about a hundred million zombies all in the one part of my castle that has zero traps. Oh well, I'll fix that later. For now, I had bigger plans. I began baking my cobblestone straight into plain old normal stone so I could make stone bricks. Now, with those stone bricks, I was gonna do something incredible. Let's start another montage. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Let's work some more on it. Ooh, that was crazy. This took me 10 days to make. I had no idea what an ambitious project this was going to turn out to be. This was, this was insane. Would you look at that? It is finally done. Oh yeah, you guys are probably wondering what the heck this thing is anyway. This thing is what's going to get me through the next 66 days. This thing is going to revolutionize zombie killing. Day 145, I noticed there was one single seed that hadn't fully grown into wheat yet, so... What? Okay then, I know just the thing. Let's see, grab some bones, make some bone meal, and... There we go. Ah. I noticed that as every night passed, about 15 more zombie horses appeared and never despawned, so I went on a massive killing rampage. Alright, park this bad boy right in here. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute, he can fit through the gap? Wait, can he actually? What? 
This whole time. I've been <laughs> I put him in here this whole time like this and he could just walk out. I'm glad he hasn't though. For my brand new zombie killing method using that massive building I just created, I was going to need something warmer so I could last the nights without freezing. Because currently, even with this underwear mod, I still freeze in the nights. But in order to be warm enough, I needed even more magma blocks. And then I could make more warm liner for my armor. So I rebuilt my nether portal and traveled to the nether. Here we go! Why are there zombies in the nether? Does that even make sense? I mean, I guess it doesn't not. No, no, it doesn't make sense. Why are there zombies? Alright, this is what I came for. Magma. Quick nap. And what the heck is this? Is this what a dream is like in, min in Minecraft? What? I can't get out of my bed. I, I can. Sp I'm just. What? Hi. Okay, I'm spam clicking leave bed, and I just can't even leave. What? I ended up just restarting Minecraft, and that fixed it. I always have a hard time getting out of my bed in real life, but even in Minecraft, man, this is getting way too realistic. All right, I'm glad that it's. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, look at all those spiders. Ooh. Wow. A little bit laggy. Oh, that one's in the ground. Oh, die. Oh, and here comes another one. And he's dead too. I'm gonna snipe that bad boy. And you're dead. Oh, there's some string up there. Thanks for the string, dude. <laughs> when I see spiders, all I see is string. Oh, more string. Come here, string. Thank you. That morning, I used every last bit of magma I had to make the warm line. I think I finally have enough to stay warm in the night. For the rest of the day, I tied up odds and ends, replacing the fires with dirt. Whoa, hold up. That's a piece of dirt right there. How did that get there? And goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, I also chopped down this tree. I needed wood, but I have no idea why. Oh right, that's why. I was building a brand new line of defense. You guys remember a few weeks back when all the zombies kept getting stuck on the side of my castle every morning and I said how I needed to fix it? Me neither, but now I'm going to. How this trap works is the zombies see me, run up to the face of the wall, and can't get past it. Then I flip the lever and they fall into the pit, and then I flip the lever again, boom, blocks go in the zombies head and they get suffocated to death. The only problem is this trap doesn't cover the corners of the castle, and there are always a few zombies left over in the corners, so thanks to this guy for commenting this idea. I put magma blocks on each of the corners so that the zombies would die, I also put carpets over them just maybe because it'll look nicer, I don't know. I was almost done with the trap when I ran out of stone bricks, so back to the mines it is. Oh, also I grinded zombies all night long because why the heck not, it's fun. The morning of the 149th, I finished off the aesthetics around my latest trap. This way you can't see exposed redstone. I also lit up a nearby surface cave because zombies would come out of it all day long. That night I spent in the grinder once more again because I needed to rack up my zombie kills. Oh, you don't know why? Well, according to YouTube statistics, I have only killed 69,419 zombies. If you want to increase that number, subscribe and like now. Also, leave a comment letting me know that you killed that one last zombie. Let's go. Oh no, dude, there are a ton of these guys. Oh man, these guys are so fast too. Okay, they can die pretty easily though, as long as I hit them. They're kind of hard to hit. Oh man. <laughs> these guys can run faster than I can. Look at them go. They're kind of the chain mail. Dude, how are they so fast? They're zombies. They should have like broken legs and ankles. How do they run so fast? My only advantage is lag. Every once in a while it lags. Dude, holy cow. This guy's Speedy Gonzalez out here. How is he moving so fast? This guy's faster than Usain Bolt. Okay, I'm not going after grappling hook away. I'm gonna die. Oh no, what? Okay, I st <laughs> No, what? Why is it not working? No, 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 no. Let me up here, let me up here. Okay, I'm still kind of getting used to the controls with the grappling hook. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Woo, I'm safe. The first thing I did on day 150 was use my brand new XP levels to enchant my bow. Gotta love bow schmo. Wait. Didn't I use that exact same joke in the Alien Planet video? Eh, whatever, no one will remember that. I noticed that even with like seven liners on my armor, I still froze at night. So I crafted up even more liners. However, apparently you can only add a limited number of liners per piece of armor because I couldn't add any more. So yeah. I was still in need of more stones, so I went back to the mine and swung my pickaxe from side to s <coughs> side. Anyway, I was about to leave when I suddenly was greeted with this. All right, let me up here. And there's a guy. Oh no, there's a ton of guys. Oh man, there's a ton of zombies. Uh. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I'm gonna be okay with the golden apple. But oh man, they're so hard to kill. They just keep smacking me. They just keep taking bites out of me. Die. 
Oh man, I gotta get back in the mine. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let me in, 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 let me in. No, 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 they knocked me out. Dude, how do I get in? I can't get in. I can't, okay, I'm killing them. They're dying. Oh! I had no idea it was night. I guess I had been mining for a little longer than I thought. Anyway, I killed this one last idiot and slept. The morning came, so I flew back up my ladder using my grappling hook, and look at this. Tons of these little nitwits running around trying to eat my brains. I used an ancient zombie killing method I learned from myself about one second ago when I thought of it. After killing all of them, I got out, and there were about a hundred spiders waiting for me up top, including this one invisible spider. You can just see his eyes. What the heck? Did the air just hit me? Oh. <laughs> okay. I realized my enchantment room was a little asymmetrical due to me making the wall next to the newest trap a little bit thicker, so I added blocks to the other side to balance it out. It was at this point that I realized my greatest trap that revolutionizes all zombie traps was actually slightly unfinished, so I grappled my way up top to top it off. And... Kobe. Okay, I've got a ton in here. Open up the pit. Yep, they're all falling in the pits. This is working perfectly. All right. Now I just need to go over here and, okay, those two guys. Okay, now they fell in. And now close the pit. And now they suffocate to death. This is the best. I love murdering zombies. At the time, I didn't realize that my armor couldn't hold any more warm liners. So I went out exploring looking for more string to craft even more liner. I ended up finding enough string to make more, but you know, I couldn't add it because yeah, I was big dumb. So I guess I'm stuck to freezing at night. Oh man, okay. No, I'm freezing again. Oh, I guess my, the liner on my armor isn't enough. 360 no scope. Wow, okay, okay, these guys just keep coming. I, I was gonna kill them, but then there's like 50 more. Just keep appearing out of nowhere. Day 153. I wanted to test out my revolutionary trap, but in order for it to work, I had to lure zombies up this building. The only problem is they kept losing sight of me and they wouldn't follow. Hey guys, you want some, you want some candy? Come on up. All right, let's do this thing. Hello? Oh, this one guy made it. Only one, though. The fastest of them all. That's it. Just a singular zombie made it up. The rest of them all got lost somehow. It's not, not a very tricky maze, but... Okay, then. And because I wasn't able to use my incredibly high-tech trap on these idiots yet, I decided to get my revenge by burning them alive. Haha, <laughs> so lucky. I still love Minecraft. I spent the next morning as a janitor, cleaning up all the zombies left around. I was pretty sad that my revolutionary trap wouldn't even get past the first step of bringing zombies up the building. But then, then I had an incredible idea. One word. Water elevators. Wait, no, that's two words. Whatever. Using soul sand and water, I could push zombies up to the top of the building hassle-free. I was a genius. Now I just had to install the new elevator. Wait. Soul sand isn't- it's not making the bubbles, is it the soul sand? So if you guys don't know, I'm in version 1.12 of the game because some of the mods installed don't work for later versions. The only downside to that is back in 1.12, Soul Sand didn't push entities up water like it does nowadays, so I had to figure out a new approach. But then, I remembered something. This whole time, I had been thinking of the fact that we were in 1.12 as a disadvantage, but actually, I can exploit that. Back in 1.12, mobs would actually float in water instead of sinking. So all I need is a bunch of water and they'll automatically swim up it. All right, I gotta test this theory out. Get over here, random zombie horse. All right. Yes, he floats up. Oh, let's go, it actually works. All right, sweet. Oh, by the way, guys, I installed a brand new shader pack right here. I think this one looks a lot cooler. It even makes the clouds a little fuzzy on the edges. Oh, and you're probably also wondering how this trap works. So basically, have you guys ever seen uh, Zombieland, that movie? Well, in the second Zombieland, Zombieland Double Tap. Okay, just watch, I'll just show you. Okay, so basically, the zombies are chasing him up the building, and then he runs out the building, and they all just follow him. He jumps off, and he grabs onto that hook thing, and all the zombies just <laughs> flood off of the building. That's what I'm gonna do, because as you guys might remember, I have a grappling hook. Now, with the way this trap is set up right now, it won't quite work as well as I would like because the zombies are just free to roam around, so only a few will follow me off the edge instead of a massive horde of 100 million. So to fix this problem, I crafted up a few sticky pistons to build a cage slash prison for the zombies to hold them until they've accumulated.
I decided I should probably build a platform for me to swing onto because I'm not really comfortable hanging there with all the zombies jumping at me, you know, trying to grab my feet and whatnot. I think I'll be a little safer on a platform. And I don't really know what happened here, but for the rest of day 158, the recording just froze right here on this frame, even though you can still hear what's going on. So let's just skip to day 159. Unfortunately, on day 158, I literally just used my new revolutionary trap on a massive horde of zombies, but the recording froze. Luckily for us though, I enjoyed it so much that, well, I did it again probably about 15 more times. A lot of the zombies didn't enter the water elevator, so I devised a brand new plan. I created a water stream so that if any zombies entered the building, they would be pushed into an elevator and float up to the top. This had to work. There was one other thing that I wanted to modify with this trap, but for that, I needed obsidian. So that night, I went out to try to find a fallen meteor. Day 160, I actually found a meteor and collected a bunch of obsidian. Now, let me explain what I'm modifying here. Every time I get a horde of zombies to run off the edge of the building, a bunch more zombies gather around on the ground way down far below me. And I don't really have a good way of killing them, so you guys remember last episode, the whole TNT thing? Well, you guys loved that, seeing limbs rain from the sky and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is put a downward facing TNT dispenser that shoots TNT down at these zombies. The obsidian is merely for keeping the ground from exploding away. The first thing I did on day 161 was make the wall higher for my landing platform because we didn't want a rerun of what happened last time when I used this trap. And three, two, one, go! This is gonna be epic. Oh no! No! Uh, okay. Well, I can see him falling off the building back there, but um, yeah, that didn't go as planned. I didn't love the style of the platform, so I grabbed some sand to make glass. Maybe it'll look cooler if it's glass. I don't know. That night, I was thirsting for fresh zombie death, so I mounted my trusty zombie Porsche and rounded up the idiots. All right, nerds, who wants to come? Get your tickets here. You can come up the building and uh and then die all right here's a group of them these guys are fast too if i didn't if this zombie horse wasn't so fast then uh i'd be dead meat die spider spiders are not allowed to come on this ride get out of here oh man <laughs> i'm glad they don't attack the horse oh guys i need a big group of them i need a massive group all right that's enough for now this is for a test anyway oh man look at all those guys all right good i can swim up a little bit faster than they can and i made it Okay, flip the lever, boom. Now they cannot come out ever. Oh man, guys, I'm starting to freeze. Yeah, look at my temperature, it's dropping. And that snowflake, oh, now I'm that shaking snowflake. Next up, hypothermia. All right, I'm, I'm gonna need to get warmer armor at some point. This is not working out. Let's go! Yes! Oh, <laughs> look at them flood off. Oh, that was great. That was only like 30 zombies though. I can put a lot more in there. All right, let's send down a TNT. Oh, dude, that guy's head hit the glass. This was incredible, truly incredible. But I think I can do even better. And I mean better, like 10 times better. You guys will see what I'm talking about later. Anyway, I noticed that a lot of the zombies still didn't make it up to the top because they got stuck on these walls, and I needed to figure out a fix for that. But in the meantime, these zombies kept damaging my armor, and I was running out of diamonds to mend it. So I went out exploring for mending books. I knew they couldn't be that rare because I had already gotten two in the last video. Yo, look. It's a skull. It's a massive skull. What kind of beast was this thing? Oh man, I would totally live in here if it was closer to spawn. I would totally live in here. This place is epic. Wish I found this on day one. This would this would make it make a great home. Anyway, that thing's interesting. Oh look, another alien ship. And what the heck is that? It appears. Oh okay, it's like a crashed meteor that landed on top of a on top of a. Uh, a what the heck? My arrow just shot backwards. Whoa, the Boots of Tears? Holy moly, you get good stuff from these. I didn't know about this. Wait, is this like a, is this a structure? This is like a perfectly symmetrical stone structure with, wait a minute, is this something? Is there something I can get out of this thing? It's completely symmetrical. Either it's like a glitch in the matrix or there's something in here. Well, I'm digging down all the way to bedrock. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Oh, what? <laughs> What? How? There just happened to be diamonds right here. I just dig straight down. What? I came back to my base empty-handed on day 165. I hadn't found any mending books. Eh, whatever. I did somehow get these diamonds, which is still insane to me. I spent that night in the zombie shredder once again to gather experience. Well, actually, it was to gather string. I usually get about a stack of string per night from this farm from all the spiders that come in. Now, you're probably saying, but Beppo, why do you need more string? Didn't you say you can't apply liner to your armor anymore? And yes, you're right, little one, but I need string for something called grappling hook upgrades. That's right, 
I'm gonna make my grappling hook even better. Oh, also, apparently you can make these things called long fall boots, which are basically just boots that make it so you can't take fall damage, and it seems pretty useful. I made this one upgrade that allows you to throw your grappling hook twice as fast, and this other one twice as far. After having a little fun with this bad boy, the moon came out and told me to kill some zombies. Hey, yo, what's poppin', idiots? Look at all these spiders. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I got a lot. This is a lot of zombies. Look at that. Look at this horde. Imagine this if I didn't have this zombie horse. I would be instantly dead. I would insta die. 100%. Oh, man. They're getting too close. They're hitting me. Oh, no, I'm losing health fast. Come on. Okay. I killed all the ones that were fast swimmers. I think, yeah. Oh, all their body parts are floating up. Oh, look at all those body parts. All right, I closed it. Hooey. I started getting colder, so I slept because I didn't want to suffer from hypothermia. All right, look at all these contestants just waiting to die. Oh, they just keep coming up. All right, let's go. I have some plans for this thing. I'm going to make this thing even crazier than it is now. But for now, let's murder these idiots. I just had a voice crack. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I missed the crack. What? Okay. It's fine. Look at all those zombies raining from this guy. You know, I missed my grappling hook, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, these guys are actually really hard to kill. Okay, 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 okay. I got a grappling hook away. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, man. The next day, I discovered I can actually craft something called Aussie Liner, which will apparently keep me warm even when it's night. Maybe now, I'll finally be able to use my world-famous trap at its fullest potential. In order to get the Aussie Liner, I needed some Cold Liner as well as Warm Liner, which I already have. The cold Liner, I needed ice for, so I went around, and using my Silk Touch Shovel, I got as much ice as I could, crafted up some Cold Liner. The game wouldn't allow me to combine my Liner with my already enchanted armor, so I had to make a new set of Diamond Armor. The only problem was, now I needed enchantments on it, so I spent yet another night down in the Zombie Shredder. Dude, how am I going to survive this situation? Where's my zombie horse? Where's my zombie Porsche? Oh, man, that's a ton of zombies. Oh, and they're coming from in front of me, too. I got to get in. The oh, I can't get in. Okay, okay, let me up. Let me up. Okay, Whew, they can't get me while I'm up here. I'm just going to mull myself in. After grinding XP all night long, I climbed up my watchtower and started picking off zombie horse riders one by one. I stepped up to my enchantment table and shinified my brand new Aussie line diamond leggings. The rest of the day I spent gathering wood and killing zombie horses. That night, I was rounding up the zombies for a good old classic killing when I noticed that a massive amount of zombies still get stuck down near the entrance. I could be killing 10 times as many zombies as I currently am. All I needed was a surefire way to get all those idiots up into the water stream. Alright, this is, this is the most contestants I've ever had for this ride. Let's do this. And the swing. Yep. And now they're just flooding over the edge. Oh, that's epic. That is epic. One last. Oh, and he fell. Oh, and there are a bunch clumped down there. They're just pathfind. Well, let's just let's just set off the TNT. You know, see how they like that. Boom. <laughs> that is epic. The bodies hit the glass. All right. There's all these guys that are still here from last night. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, a lot of them actually don't get pushed into the water stream. Look at that. Oh, okay, I gotta fix that. No wonder, because I was thinking there should be a lot more than, than there are up there. So some of them can get in, or I think most of them get in, but there's still, there's still a huge amount that gets stuck. Remember on day 162 when I said this trap could be 10 times better? Well, it's time to make it 10 times better. It's time to make it 10 times better. The first thing I did was add this water stream here, which will push every and all wandering idiots into this other stream, which will push even more idiots up this elevator, which will push every and all wandering idiot into the top of the building, which will push, which will, uh, I'll kill them. Um, it's putting him in a cage where I can kill them. The night of the 172nd, I tested it out, and yes sir, this thing works quite fine. Very, very fine. So fine that the issue was no longer that there weren't enough zombies, it was that there were too many zombies. This massive horde of zombies was stopping other zombies from coming up the water elevator, and when they did come up, they would entity cram and all die. Okay, nerds, how would you like to die? Okay, sounds like a yes. Oh, they're coming fast. Let me up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, that is so great. Look at them go. Look at them. Look at all those body parts. Just a ton. Holy cow. When the morning came, these idiots were still moaning and groaning, so I decided I should try to be civil this time. And there was only one way I could think of, luring them off the edge of a tall building only to have them fall into the hard ground where their legs would be crushed beneath them. Hey, I'm putting them out of their misery. Don't judge my methods. <laughs> Die, idiots. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, well, how many? Oh, man, these guys are so fast. 
but I can kill them so easily. Just a few swings of my sword kills a ton. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Die. They just keep, they keep respawning or something. Okay, there we go. And last one. You're dead. The rest of day 173, I spent modifying the water entry method to further help the zombies come to their hidden demise. Day 174, I mostly spent cleaning up odds and ends. I did begin work on taking down the current cage that holds the zombies because I was going to need to expand it. Okay, so at the time of recording this, I had just gotten a comment on a video with the most genius, hilarious, epic idea yet. Put the zombies through an obstacle course. This was just a next level method of trolling brainless idiots. You guys remember when I was making all those shorts on YouTube that were Villager IQ tests that now everyone else is copying? Yeah, so basically, this is going to be a massive villager IQ test, but instead of villagers, it's zombies, and instead of a test, it's going to be impossible to pass. I know, I know. I haven't even finished the building trap yet, but this was so cool, I had to start it right away. Let's start the building montage. After working on the zombie troller, official name by the way, for a solid five days straight, I decided I should take a break and relax by killing a few zombies, thousands at a time. But in order to kill that efficiently, I needed to add efficiency to my pickaxe so that I could mine blocks faster to enlarge in the room that the zombies are trapped in. What were you thinking? All right, the sun is setting and I can only think about one thing, zombies. Let's shred. Okay, here they come. Oh yeah. Look at them go- Whoa, what the- Huh? That's the spider just 360 no scoped me. Okay. Now we have a ton. Oh yeah. That is- that is a ton. My frame rate is just death right now. <laughs> what? Look at the- <laughs> Did you guys see how many zombies just went over the edge? It was a literal flood. I think they classify as a liquid. Oh man, there are so many here. There are so many. This is insane. I love this game. And swing. And oh, oh dude. Holy cow. It's crashing my game. <laughs> Look at all those body parts. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is insane. This trap is just madness. Okay, back to the zombie troller. Okay, let's go hop into a creative testing world so I can show you guys how this thing works. So, you're walking over here, and boom, instantly, floor opens up, fall in lava, die. So let's say you're a smart zombie and you decide not to fall in that trap. Well, you could turn left here, and when you go in here, boom, lava appears there. That'll stop any future zombies from coming in. Then you come over here, you go in this door, and oops, you're stuck forever. So now you're not an idiot either, you're not gonna go in that door course not so you walk over here like oh what what the heck is this over here and then you have to go through this entire maze and it's just it's very painful there's water going through the entire thing so after all that waiting in the water you get to this part with these pressure plates which shoot fireballs at you catching you on fire you don't want it to go in there just straight up bad idea then you get to this section now this section is sort of like a place where all the sections meet up they come in here and boom, they get launched into the air. That'll just do a little fall damage for them, and it's kind of fun to see a bunch of zombies fly up in the air, you know. Then you get to these doors here, and they start punching down the doors because they're zombies. Zombies just hate doors. And so, yeah, all they have to do is get through all these doors, and then they win. That's how they pass. Okay, so now the zombies, zombies have gotten a little smarter since then, and so now they're going to go right. 
and they see this villager over here, and they're like, oh, okay, we'll just walk over this little iron gate, and then boom, yeet it off into the lava, instant death. Now, for all the zombies that decide not to go for the villager, they keep going straight, and then these dispensers just start shooting arrows rapid fire at them, and there's nothing they can do against it. And yeah, they'll basically die from this, and then they're like, okay, we're not going that way, no way. Since the zombies don't want to rerun what happened last time, they come over here, remember what the slime block did to them, and walk over these magma blocks, which will just bring them a little bit lower on HP, and then end up here at the slime block trampoline. Now, what'll happen to a lot of the zombies is they'll shoot up from the slime and then land on these magma blocks in this little maze and have to find their way out while burning to death. And yeah, so that's the trap. That's the whole maze. And so yeah, they just have to make it through this entire thing and then they're home free and they get to feast on me openly. The obstacle course was finally complete. After a total of 13 days working on all the redstone traps and maze, I finally finished it. So, you know what that means. Time to kill some zombies with my super tall building trap that I stole from Zombie Land. I know, you want to see the zombie troller in action, but not yet, guys. I needed this. Look at all those guys down there. Oh, what? This guy knocked me off. Oh, what a traitor. Okay, not really a traitor. That's not really how traitors work. But let's just swing over here. Nope, my grappling hook decided to not work. Look at all these guys that got stuck on the wall. There were so many. Oh, man, these guys are so fast. It's so hard to juke them. Yeah, I... Should I try? No, okay. My sweeping edge isn't enough to kill this, this horde of zombies. Oh, man. Okay, they're actually doing some damage. Oh, man. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. No, oh, okay. I'm actually getting low. I'm lower than half health. Okay, this is actually bad. This is actually, this is actually very bad. Oh wow. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Oh. Oh. Let me, let me, let me. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna do any more dangerous stuff anymore! Except fall off buildings. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see how many guys are accumulated in here. That's quite a few. I think that's probably enough. Oh, and. Alright, it's fine. Oh man, these guys just keep coming. There's so many. Oh no, they can get on top of the thing. No, no! Oh no! Okay, okay, it's fine. They can get on top of this this thing somehow. I'm not sure how they're doing that. Probably has to do with this water here. I'm just gonna put dirt up here. I know it doesn't look great. It's a temporary fix, okay? Can't be coming up here no more. That is quite a few zombies. Yeah, that's just a large amount. All right, let's get rid of this dirt so the zombies can freely feast on the villager. And uh, yeah, I think this trap is looking pretty ready. <laughs> just ascending up. This is great. All right. Shoot the button, shoot the button. Yeah, oh wow, second try, pretty proud of that. And first try, yep, first try. All right, here come the zombies. Oh man, a ton of them in the lava trap. All right, they went around the other way. A lot of them went the other way, they're going so fast, some of them are getting stuck in the lava. Oh, that guy just got yeeted off the edge. Okay, a bunch of them are coming this way. Oh, they just got launched into slime blocks. All right, they're coming up to the doors. They're breaking the doors. They're breaking the doors, most of them. They didn't, looks like they didn't get to the villager. Um, they're kind of hanging out in the slime balls and they're breaking through the doors. All right, looks like they broke through the first layer. Now they're on the second layer of doors. This is all happening. Oh man, more bouncing on that. Oh, this guy got stuck in the arrow trap. All right, oh, they broke through the doors and opened that up. And um, a goodbye. <laughs> what? They just all fell down that. Oh, that zombie, that zombie wants to get the villager. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Guys, that was so amazing. <laughs> oh man, 55 rotten zombie flesh. It's pretty good, pretty good amount. I like it a lot. Dude, I just launched with that bad boy. That was epic, guys. That was just epic right there. That was, <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, let's close this. Look at all those arrows. They really got stuck in that zombie trap, or the arrow trap, I mean. All right, it is now nighttime and the zombies are accumulating. Look at them go. They are filling up. I want to fill up this thing. I want a, mm, I want a million zombies in this in this zombie IQ test. Oh, yep, here comes. Oh, that is a lot. Yep, that's quite a few. Let's see if I can get this skeleton. Rats, I missed. All right, I think these guys are ready to go through the go through the obstacle course again, don't you think? Yeah, I think they probably are. They look pretty ready. Oh, there we go. And here they come. A lot of them in the first zombie trap, but then they go around to the edge. Um, that guy's just bouncing on the little thing. They got stuck in the second lava trap, it looks like. Oh, that guy fell. They're all falling. Doesn't look like they're going to make it. Oh, that guy made it, but then he ran back. 
kind of an idiot, not gonna lie. Oh man, how did that guy get past the traps? He's just that fast, and the dispenser trap killed him. That's a lot of zombies down there. How am I gonna take care of these guys? They just keep coming. Um, let's just, uh, let's go this way. Let's try to see if, if I can get them in the building trap. Oh man, they're doing a lot of damage already. Come here, zombie horse. Yes, all right, we're good. And that is just a, a wave of zombies. It's just solid zombies. You could walk on top of that crowd. That is a serious crowd. That is a riot right there. That's what that is. The definition of a riot is this exact situation. And it's lagging. There are so many, my computer is committing death. That's how many, that's how many zombies there are. <laughs> there are too many for my computer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me in, please. Okay, there we go. We're good. I want to watch these guys go up. And here they come. Oh, and there's my zombie Porsche. All right, yeah, this looks like it works pretty well. Except my zombie horse is kind of in the way, which is too bad, but um, whatever. Guys, I did something terrible, but as terrible as it was, it needed to be done. Guys, I'm killing my zombie Porsche. I know you're all very sad to see it, but I had to do it. These zombies were getting stuck and they wouldn't go up. It's worth it, guys. There are plenty of other zombie Porsches. It, don't even worry about it. Pretend you never saw that. It's okay. You guys need to see this grand finale. It is going to be incredible. All right. I need even more. All right. Go up here. Oh, look at all the zombies. Oh, that is the most insane thing I've ever seen in this game. That Tell me that's not the most insane thing you've ever seen. Tell me that. Actually, it's not the most insane thing. What we're about to do is going to be the most insane thing you will ever see in this game. And my grappling hook isn't working. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't die here. I can't die here. Okay, I'm not taking much damage. Okay, I cannot die here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Why is my grappling hook being... What? My grappling hook is, like, not working. Okay. Oh, man. I think it's about to break, too. That... <laughs> That was uh, that was a close call. I couldn't imagine dying on day 199 right before this massive epic trap. Oh man, I never closed this cage. Uh, hoop. okay, yep, it's fine, guys. Don't don't even worry about it. And now the zombies are raining from the sky. Yep, it's raining zombies from out of the sky. Zombies. Um, I might die. I actually, there is a chance that I'm gonna die here because there are so many, and my zombie Porsche is dead because I killed it. I maybe shouldn't have killed it. I'm already regretting that. Yes, okay, I got it. Oh, okay. Okay, they all went the other path. All right, now they're going to the slime. Okay, that guy just got, just got yeeted off. <laughs> he was going for the villager bait. He fell for it. A lot of these guys do. They're not very smart. And a lot of them are right there. And those guys all fell in that first trap. All right, so. Uh, these guys, how do I take care of them, you might be asking? With this lever, I might be answering. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Look at them funnel in there. This is so great. Wow, they really all went in there. These guys really are idiots. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry that it took longer to come out, but I really worked as hard as I could to make it the best that I could. I'm working on some new videos that are a little different, but just as cool. 